Motorcycle Live 2017. I found William Dunlop wandering around and sitting watching the videos on the TT stand. William, let's say it's been a little bit of a rodeo season really for you, 2017. I can remember seeing you pre-season over in Spain riding around on motorcycles and kind of most things fell through for you before the season even got underway. Yeah, that was that was a year before. <laughs> As I say, it's been two bad years now, so this year I didn't even get to Spain, so uh, and that's how I know. So, yeah, I was disappointed because uh, this time at the show we were releasing, I was riding for Halsall, and now all of a sudden I went to the north the week before the Northwest with no bikes, so it was a bit of a disaster. Uh, luckily, uh, Tim Martin lent me a couple of bikes he had for sale, got us through uh, the season, uh, yeah, but it was hard work. You know, Tim at Martrain is uh, he's obviously a big fan of road racing, run a fantastic team, British Championship and, and on the roads, but seems to have taken a back step, but was very kindly, you know, helped you out with some machines for 2017. Um, you still managed the podium at the Northwest? Yeah, the 600. It went quite well at the Northwest, and then we had engine problems, and then went to the TT, and the bike's a bit old now, it's, it's five or six year old, so we've actually got a new one for next year, but just everything went wrong again. Uh, it just sort of roller coastered from the Northwest on because we didn't really, because we put all our eggs into the basket testing on a super bike, we never really put anything into the 600. We kind of put it to the side, so it was just all built up from then on. But uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm confident now it's out of the way, and hopefully that's the two years out of the road and can't be a third one. So it's been a been a busy couple of years, even though you know uh, from from a team side or a racing side, it hasn't quite gone to plan. But of course. You're a father now, you're pushing on, and uh, for 2018, you know, what are your plans? Are they finalised yet? Yeah, I'm pretty close. Uh, yeah, it was just the whole year was really hard, and then the Ulster Grand Prix, we came, a, you know, basically I got all, everything I asked for for the Ulster Grand Prix, and if, if I hadn't I had the Ulster Grand Prix, I probably wouldn't be sitting in the position I am now. I probably could quite easily have not been racing this year, I could have just stopped, but sort of proved to myself and proved to a few other people that now are keen and helping me that I can I can ride a super bike so you know we're trying to build that on now for 2018 so that's that's what my plan is try and continue with the same bike and try and do something but uh, as I say nothing's nothing's 100% sort, sorted yet but I'm looking forward to it. You know what what would your favourite be next year just the, the kind of the three major road races of the Northwest, the Ulster and uh, the TT? Yeah I think that's what I need to concentrate on I need to concentrate on getting bike to where I was on a super bike when I rode for Tyco, so I, I want to concentrate on that and I think doing that I need to do the three internationals and do a bit of circuit stuff instead of maybe running to the wee road races at home because five laps here and there doesn't really help you that much and because I've taken two years of a step backwards I think I need to try and do something so I'm going to concentrate on the three and try and get something in the BSB hopefully and you know that's that's what the plan is at the minute and uh, I'll try not to walk away from the wee races because uh, They've been good to me and my family, so I'll try and support them whenever I can. No, fair enough, you know. But with the Isle of Man TT, you know, we know you've got the pace there. Especially, uh, you've had some good rides and you know uh, stood on the podium. But you must be quite keen, obviously, to get that number one top step. Yeah, especially TT's one everybody wants. Uh, like, <laughs> it's what your year builds around. Uh, you know, I can keep saying I've had bad luck, but I've made my own decisions, and some of them have been really poor. So. Yeah, I've, hopefully I've learned by it, and as I say, I think, you know, with the 600 now, we've got a brand new bike, so we've got no, we hopefully no niggly problems like we've had over the past couple of years, and, you know, hopefully we have a bit of luck, and, you know, as I say, a bit of time in the bikes shouldn't be far away this time. William, thanks for chatting. Good All luck right. 2018. Cheers, Steve.